what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have uh, rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the Aratu leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. As you can see, we've already started here. Well, that's where he wants it. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Out to the left it goes. Ball's gone out of play. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. by a lack of accuracy hit long and direct forward it goes that's just very well played he can't hurt you with his back to goal and he didn't go for the back heel played back in to get it forward quickly floats one over and we've reached half time so the other team has broken through but certainly not for the want of trying it's been an interesting game up to now but still goals what have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Well, the action has already resumed here. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? to locate someone up front and he's made sure that that won't get through well into the second half and it's still goalless And he heaves it forward. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Lovely bit of skill. Goes for the cross. Good clearance and very necessary. Well, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. goes long, floats it through, goalkeeper's ball, yeah. 
He's got options out wide. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. In he flies! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And it's played forward. There's only one word for this, it, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. It is going to need 30 more minutes, no winner after 90. Well, the scoreline may have a disappointing look about it, Peter, but that's where it ends. I think this game has had a real lively feel, and I'm not ready to give up on it yet. Well, fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. So our quest to find the winner continues. As he found his man. Oh, good interception. Come back to the keeper. Gets it upfield. Looks to clip it forward. Well, to be honest, I think that... And that's it for the first half of extra time. And it is starting to feel as though there is an inevitability about penalties here.